Freestanding ultralight tents are my favorite. So when I found out that MSR redesigned the Freelight 2 to be eight ounces lighter, coming in closer to two pounds, well, I had to check it out. And I realized that this tent feels a whole lot like another two pound tent that I've used for years, the Nemo Hornet Elite. Plus, MSR claims that their new Freelight is more spacious than the Nemo Hornet, which was just begging for a comparison. So this is the new MSR Freelight two person versus the Nemo Hornet Elite two person tent. Let's check it out. First of all, let's talk about all the similarities there are here. These are both semi-freestanding tents. They both have two vestibules, two doors, and are for two people. They both weigh close to two pounds. They both have this little cutout at the head to increase ventilation. All in all, these are very similar designs. But how do they compare? Well, since MSR claims that it's roomier than the Hornet, let's start there. So the Freelight is slightly larger than the Hornet. If you're into specs, the Freelight has 29 square feet of floor space, whereas the Hornet only has 27 square feet of floor space. This is most noticeable in the Freelight's true rectangular shape. It is 50 inches across the head and 50 inches across the feet, whereas the Hornet is 50 inches across the head, but only 42 inches across the feet. Now, Theoretically, this means that you should be able to fit two 25-inch pads in the Freelight. I don't actually have two 25-inch pads, but I did try to get a huge 30-inch pad in there with one of my 20-inch pads, and the two just couldn't quite fit. Maybe that's just a pitch problem? I'm honestly not sure. So I think the area where you really notice the need for more space in a two-person tent is in the headroom. The MSR is two inches taller and it has a longer crossbar that gives you just a few more inches on either side. But even with the added inches, it still feels like the walls are drooping in on you. The Nemo has these nice little clips that allow you to take the inner mesh and clip them to the outside fly, giving you just a little bit more extra space. It's not much, but this is a feature I think all two-person tents need to have. I have to say, when you're sitting inside it, the Nemo really does feel more constrictive in the headroom. The netting is just so close to your head, and that's with one person in it. This is, remember, a two-person tent. That extra long crossbar really does help on the free light. It makes a much bigger difference than I realized. So the real thing that makes the Freelight a contender is the new weight savings. MSR managed to shave eight ounces off this thing, and they are advertising it at two pounds even. But that's trail weight, which is basically just the body, the fly, and the poles, no tent stakes. But as these are only semi-freestanding tents, you're going to need those stakes. So the total weight is actually two pounds and four ounces on my home scale, three ounces heavier than the Hornet. And if you know me, every ounce counts, so this one goes to the Hornet. But you're going to pay for those three ounces because the Nemo Hornet is fairly expensive at $500 US, where the Freelight is almost $100 cheaper at $409 US. So the question is, are those three ounces worth a hundred bucks? Now, the thing that I really love about the MSR, and honestly, it's so simple, I don't know why more tents haven't started doing this, and that is the placement of the vestibule zipper. So just about every freestanding tent that I've ever used, when you get ready to get up in the morning and you wanna open up the fly, you have to reach way over here and fold yourself over to get to this zipper that's way out at the end of the fly to open the fly. But on the free light, the zipper, is over here and it's much easier to reach. You just reach over here, grab the zipper, unzip the fly, and there's no yoga involved to get out of the tent. One problem with this fly design is even with the rain gutters, anytime you open it after a rain, it seems to drip all inside of the tent, which that's not good. The Freelight has double zipper doors that are so much easier to open with one hand compared to the Hornet's rainbow doors that require two hands to open. One of the things that I absolutely hate about the Freelight is that this crossbar is actually separate from the rest of the poles and it's quite frankly easy to lose. Almost every time that I've set this thing up, if I don't specifically make note of where I put this, I lose it under the tent or off by the campfire somewhere and I spend at least one to two minutes looking for it. I wish they would have found a way to keep it attached to the other poles. Nemo took a little bit different route and created this fly bar which is attached to the tent so you won't lose it, but it makes it harder to pack the tent up. I'm always afraid that I'm going to break it while I'm trying to shove my tent into the stuff sack, so I don't really like either setup. On the inside, the MSR has more pockets. It's got two on either side, and it's got two in the ceiling. And the pockets have these small little openings at the bottom to run charging cords. But honestly, I wonder why this is even needed. Odds are you're going to be charging with a battery bank, and it seems like it would be just as convenient, or actually probably even more convenient to just put that in the pocket with the phone. 
And if you put anything small in this pocket, is it just going to fall out the bottom? On the other hand, the Hornet has two pockets on either side, but there's no charging port, and there's only one pocket up in the ceiling, but it has a light diffuser for your headlamp. Two things the Freelight has that the Hornet doesn't are these little rain gutters that run water down and away from the door, and at the foot, these stiff corners to keep the bathtub floor tight. But the Hornet has a solid one-piece floor where the Freelight has a tape seam that for me is just begging for water to leak through at some point, and it has a pole repair sleeve. The Freelight doesn't have a pole repair sleeve, but it does have two extra stakes that I didn't need when I pitched the tent. So you can either leave those at home or you can use them if you accidentally lose one of your stakes. Something else I just noticed that the Freelight has, the Nemo doesn't, is double-ended zippers on the fly so that you can unzip the top a little bit to get a little bit better ventilation. One thing I forgot to mention is that the Freelight has a 15 denier fly and floor, whereas the Hornet has a 7 denier fly and a 10 denier floor, which is probably where they save those extra ounces. So there you have it, the MSR Freelight two-person tent, new for 2022 versus the Nemo Hornet Elite two-person tent. They're actually updating the Nemo Hornet Elite this year, but I haven't managed to get my hands on one yet. But the best I can tell, the updates are a new fabric that Nemo is introducing, and they're changing the color a little bit to be gray, which... I don't know if I like that or not. But as far as I can tell, everything else on the new Nemo is going to be exactly like the tent I showed in this video. So which one of these tents is the better tent? Well, for the price, the extra space, the way that the fly opens up, I really want to like the free light, but the way that the water drips in on it like that, anytime that it rains, it's a deal breaker for me. So until I figure out what's going on, maybe I just need some more time with the free light, the Nemo's gonna remain my favorite. But I wanna know which one of these tents is the tent you would take in the backcountry. Leave me a comment and let me know. If you want to support me in the videos I'm putting out, the easiest way is to simply watch, like, and subscribe. Or if you want to go one step further, you can buy one of my Take a Seat shirts in the link below this video. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at MyLifeOutdoors. And as always, thanks for watching.